extension, the permalink, slug, or URL, or whatever you want to call it, for an image or any other media library object in WordPress is really simple if you know where to look. I'm Victor at tvmundo.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you the secret place where you can change your media item URLs in WordPress. I'm in the WordPress media library and I'm going to upload a new image file by clicking add new media file. And from here I will click select files. And in this case I'm uploading an image called our-staff.jpg. And I click the image and now I can click the link in the bottom called edit more details. So what happens when you upload an image or any other media file like a PDF or a video to WordPress is that WordPress creates a permalink for that image. And that permalink is based on the media file file name. So in this case, the file name was our-staff.jpg. And this means that the permalink will become our-staff. So WordPress removes the file extension. If I click this link, we can see that WordPress created a little post with our image. This post design will look different depending on theme you use, but regardless, WordPress will create this automatically. If you're using an SEO plugin like Yoast or Rank Math, you will probably be redirected directly to this image file if you click the permalink, but still the permalink is there created by WordPress in the background. What this means is that the URL mysite.com slash our hyphen staff is now taken by this image. And if I try to create a new page, new page, and I'll call it our staff, and I click publish. Now WordPress will do the same as they did for the media file. It will automatically create a URL based on the page title. But as you can see in this case, it says our staff hyphen two. And this is because the permalink or the slug our staff is already taken by the image file. Now I don't like this. It doesn't look professional and it could potentially hurt my SEO. So I want to change this URL to our staff. But if I just remove it and try to save, it will not work because if I click update, the number two will come back because it's already taken by the image and you cannot have duplicate URLs on a website. So to fix this, I have to change the permalink for the image. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and I'll go to media. And once again, I will click the image and I will click the edit more details link in the bottom. Now, here you would think that you perhaps could just click the permalink to change it, but as we saw before, you will just be redirected to the image post. And if I go back, there's no place here to actually edit the permalink. Now, this is a little bit of a hidden feature in WordPress, and I will show you where to find this secret place. In the top right corner, you have something called screen options. And if I click that tab, I have a few elements that I can either deactivate or activate. And in this case, we have one called slug. And slug is another word for permalink or URL. So if I tick that checkbox, and now I can minimize the screen options again, I can scroll down on the page. And now we have the slug here and I can edit it. So instead of calling it our staff, I could call it our amazing staff and I click update in the top right corner. Now you can see that it has a new permalink, our amazing staff. Now this will not change the image, the URL to the image file. That's still the same. That's something different, but it will change the permalink to the image file post. In some rare cases, it will not be possible to edit the image slug this way. And then there is an alternative method. Simply delete the image from the media library by clicking delete permanently. And I click OK. Now re-upload the image file. 
but change the file name before you do it. So in this case, I could maybe just remove the hyphen like this, having it our staff. And if we have a look at it by clicking and clicking edit more details, we can see that the permalink or the URL now is our staff without an hyphen. And that means that the URL our hyphen staff is now available to use for a page or a post. A quick heads up here, if you delete an image, uh, and this image was added on a post or page earlier, the image link will be broken. So you have to go back to your old pages and posts and re-add this new image in that place. Now I can go back to my pages. I can click our staff and now I can click the URL and let's try to remove the hyphen two and click update. And now you can see that my URL is our staff. So I reclaim that for my page. Changing the page URL can look a bit different depending on what theme or page builder you are using. But one way that's identical for all WordPress setups is that you can go to pages and you can hover the page, in this case, our staff. And then you will have a menu link called quick edit. And if I click that, we have the slug and I can edit it from here and I can click update. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. That would make me very happy. Until next time, take care.